Hi there and welcome to module 1c of my full Python course on YouTube. If you have not enrolled already, please subscribe down below and let's get started. So in module 1c, we are going to discuss the idea of a list in Python. And I'm always going to explain why you want something before to show you how you do it in Python. So why do we want a list? Well, what a list is, is a bunch of stuff. And in fact, it actually has an order to that stuff as well, which you may or may not want to care about. So a list, you can think about it as, well, maybe a grocery list. So we have the first thing, the second thing, the third thing, and it has some finite length. So it does have some amount of items in it, say five items, and there is an order. So I could say, what is the first thing on the list? What is the second thing on the list? And so on, all the way down to whatever that last element is. So we looked at data types in Python before. We had integers and strings and booleans and the last one is decimal values or floating point values. So those are our main data, data types. We can put all of those in a list actually. And to do make a list in Python, you put square brackets. So here, this is a list, a special list called the empty list. And it's took a little bit, uh, took a little bit of time because it was connecting, there it went. So we have a square brackets thing and it's opening that back to us saying it is the empty list in Python. We can ask its length of the list by doing len. Len is a function, which again, we're going to talk about later. But if you pass it this thing called square brackets, as in if we put between these round brackets, these square brackets, it's saying, okay, what is the length of the empty list? Well, can you guess what it's going to output? It's going to say zero because there is no items in the list. Therefore, it is a, its length is zero. If we had one thing in here, we have the length of the list of one. And so that is going to have one element in it. And we can put multiple things in the list by separating by commas. So I could do comma and then another thing. And in Python, you can put whatever you want in a list. So we could put the string of hey. So the length of one and hey is two. And I'm going to get rid of this length thing now just to show you the actual list itself is going to look very similar. It is one and hey. We can also put, say, true in here and false in here and so on. Now, there is a lot of things you can do with lists, and I'm absolutely not going to throw all of those things at you right away. But the most important thing, and I've already mentioned it, is, well, the length, the fact that you can put anything in them, and the fact that it has some order to it. That means I can ask for the first thing or second thing or third thing. But in Python, we're actually zero indexed meaning when I ask for the zero with thing, that is actually the first thing because it's, it actually dates back to the 80s of why they do that. It doesn't really matter. You'll get used to it. So uh, I index this thing by giving it these other square brackets. So I can say, okay, this list, and then the way I say it is sub. So like indexing it, I say this sub zero is the first element. So what is this going to produce? Well, I'm asking for the zeroth or the first element, which is one, so it should return one. If I ask for the second thing, that is this, so hey, or this, or the last thing. So if there's four elements, then there's actually the last index is three. And so I say, okay, that's false. And then if I ask for this thing, well, that's actually asking for the fifth element in a list of four things. So that is going to fail. So that throws an error saying a very good error saying list index is out of range for the indexing. That is true. So the range is zero, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four is not exist. So it throws an error that is good. Errors are good in this kind of case. So if you liked this lecture, please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you in module one D.